Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and uh, good afternoon, Mr. Secretary. Thank I'd like you. to hand something out to for, for a minute. Get some Lyme disease. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you didn't expect this question today on this issue. Um, <laughs> it's one of my but, favorite questions. Yeah, well, good. Hopefully you can help me out. And if you, you notice, um, it's not throughout the state, but in the southeast and the, and the, and the eastern part of the state where the, the big red is, Lyme disease. Um, we have two of our members that have had Lyme disease. And I'm hearing more and more horror stories where it's not being diagnosed and... And when it's not diagnosed early enough, 30 days of antibiotics that just doesn't cut it. And we, we're, we're told, you know, you can't even get a doctor that's going to give it to you more than 30 days. And there's a lot of people out there suffering. There's over, they say there's over 30,000. There's more people that don't even know that they have it. And any time, you know, four people in my county building in Monroe. But this goes throughout Philadelphia, uh, Delaware County. It's, it's through, it, what are we doing about it? Well, I, you know... It's scary. It's absolutely scary. I've seen the results, and one of our members, one of the strongest guys here, you could see when he first got it, it was, he, he, he was draining. He couldn't even walk. Oh, um, I share that. I've, I've actually uh, seen this myself. One of my dearest college friends, his son was unable to start uh, school for four years because of, uh, uh, of the uh, ensuing immunological sequelae to Lyme's. Same thing with his Spouse, um, I always used to see as an ophthalmologist the neuro-ophthalmological issues. And when I went back to working, and I did work for the uh, Secret Service and the DEA uh, in Albany, New York, I actually got to pick some of these ticks off. You, know, you see pictures, and, and I had officers who went out on a drug raid, coming back in, and fortunate enough for me, to, I would do their physicals, and I would actually see the, uh, the tick and remove it. Um, so it's real. I understand it's real. It's hit me personally, um, and it's a true issue. I think that we need to we need further education. Uh, I know that we're partnering with the Game Commission, also with the Department of Conservation and Natural Resources, um, to get the word out, the appropriate clothing wear, where to go. What I would um, like to point out is that in certain parts of the country, there are also working on a vaccine, but not for humans, for the actual deer. Um, I'm uh, waiting to get those results, because that'll be then re it's something that we can then share with communities that are afflicted. Um, something I would like to see is um, up on the web, an increased number of ticks. Be careful when you're in this area, or you're walking through this path uh, uh, in our parks. Um, those are things, I think, education. Um, I don't see much promise in the vaccine. Um, they stopped that a number of years ago because of the financial incentive um, is what I, uh, all the literature points to. But I, I, I'm hopeful that if we can attack it via working with the animals themselves, that's another way of dealing with, with Lyme disease. But right now, what we have is education and getting the word out and being uh, uh, alerted. And what do we do for those folks that have it, that... that their 30 days are up, they can't get the antibiotics, um, and doctors are afraid to treat them, you know, because of what, what, for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot out there. I've got people actually on the phone crying to me that they can't, you know, they can't afford it, and, and it's, it's a lot of money, this stuff. I, I understand that, and I said it's, it's, it's hit me personally. However, the science points to the actual infectious state then there is the immunological sequelae. So my answer to that is, and I, and I broadcast this here because I have the opportunity, is let's start looking at the immunological sequelae because antibiotics, as science shows us, doesn't work after a certain stage. It's dealing, for example, with the complement system, with our B cells, our T cells, making sure that um, the appropriate immunological response, the cell to cell, the intercellular communication, which appears in certain individuals to be affected, for that to be studied. And that's where science shows us. In fact, the CDC, um, the evidence points that prolonged antibiotic, treat antibiotic treatment um, may be dangerous. 
uh, you know, Mr. Secretary, one of our senior members that had it, without the prolonged treatment, he, would, I don't, he, he swears that he wouldn't be here. That's how bad it was. And he was, it was a prolonged treatment. He had to get it for 90, 120 days. It, it's, it, it's, a, it's an issue out there. And folks that are, can afford it are getting it. And without that, they, couldn't, they said they couldn't function. I, I just, I understand what, the way you're, go, what, what you're talking about, I, and I agree with you. But at the same time, you know, that's going to take a while before we get to that point. And you see that map there, that red area in the southeast. You know, it's very easily available now. You could, you got to be very, very careful. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I just, you know, I'd hope that there's something that we can do to try to help the folks that that have it. And some folks, a friend of mine, just recently, he, they tr he doesn't know what's wrong with him. I said, check for Lyme. I'm sorry, right away, check for Lyme, because that's, that's the one that nobody diagnoses. How could we get a better diagnosis of it? I think that the diagnosis was early enough, this wouldn't happen. So, uh, you know, because they don't diagnose it right away, and by not diagnosing it right away, the 30 days doesn't work. Right, and that's why um, you um, have to have the education, which is with our outreach and our partnering, to educate individuals to enjoy our natural resources, but to take the appropriate precautions. White socks, white pants, you're able to see. These ticks are really tiny. They're yeah. doing gorge when, when, they, 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 with, when they have their fill, but they're, they're tiny. You have to look for them. Yeah. Can you keep, please keep that on your radar screen? Of okay. course. Thank you. Course. Thank you very much.